hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am presenting you a brand new model from cohere called as aya expense 8 billion this model also comes in 32 billion size if you are interested but so far what i have seen in this 8 billion version is quite impressive cohere's models are always of good quality and they are quite well suited for the translation and other related tasks in this video we are going to install this new model locally and then we will try it out on various multilingual benchmarks if you are interested in learning about cohere's previous models just search my channel with aya or cohere and you should be able to find heaps of videos so let's try to see what exactly this model is before we proceed to installation so this is an open weight research release of a model with highly advanced multilingual capabilities. It focuses on pairing a highly performant pre-trained command family of models with the result of a year's dedicated research from Cohere's own team. Command R, Command R Plus, these are flagship model of Cohere and of quite a good quality. This model has gone through a lot of data arbitrage, multilingual preference training, safety tuning, and also model merging. And the result is this Aya Expanse, which is a powerful multilingual LLM serving 23 languages. And it is quite interesting that unlike other companies and models, when it comes to multilingual, Cohere has confined itself to these select few 23 languages instead of supporting hundreds and hundreds of languages and they have fine-tuned and improved the coverage of these languages and that is the salient feature for me when it comes to model otherwise if you look at the benchmark and especially if you compare this IA model with let's say Quen 2.5 Quen 2.5 uh, is a very very fine model from Alibaba and of course if you look at Llama 3.2 and few other models they are slightly better in the general language task than Aya, but when it comes to translation tasks, I believe these Aya models are quite top notch. So that is what we are going to test in this model again before I move forward towards installation. Let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Okay, so let's try to get this thing installed and I will carry on my uh, introduction to this IA while it installs. So first up, you see that I'm running Ubuntu 22.042 and I have one GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. Okay, so let me clear the screen and then create a virtual environment with Conda. I'm just going to go with Python 3.11 here. Let's wait for it. And that should activate it any second now. That is done. Let's install these prerequisites. And you see that I'm installing Transformer from source. That is very important because it's a new model that is only supported in the latest version of Transformer. This is going to take a minute or two. So let's go back to this IA and try to see what else is there. As I said, it um, covers 23 languages, which include English, of course, French, German, Greek, Hebrew, Hindi, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Turkish, Portuguese, Romanian, Vietnamese, Ukrainian, um, and also Chinese, of course, and Arabic, plus uh, Polish and few other languages Russian too and this model is a 8 billion model the license is CC by NC which is I don't think so lets you run commercially so but do your own due diligence now this model is an auto regressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture and fine tuning or post training includes supervised fine tuning preference training and also model merging the context length is 8000 which you can check out and then there are few other tidbits around benchmarking and stuff 
comparison with few of the models like Java Llama 3.1 and Ministall 8 billion. This is where I believe that they should release some more results, especially comparison with Llama 3.2 or with Quen 2.5, this sort of model, I think that will give us more information around it. But anyway, let's go and check what is happening with our prerequisites still going on. So let's wait. And that is all done. Let me launch my Jupyter notebook in the browser environment so that we could play around with this model there. It will make it easier. And my Jupyter notebook is launched. First up, let's import the libraries and then download the model and its tokenizer. And the model is being downloaded. There are four tensors of it. Let's wait. And the third shard of the model is being downloaded. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily and at scale. You can use Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. AgentQL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay. Let's wait for this to finish and then we will do the inference. And the model is downloaded. Let's try it out on various languages. So first up, I'm just giving it this Turkish language prompt. And then we are converting this into chat template. Applying with the tokenizer, we are generating the model's response and then we are decoding the response back with the tokenizer and then printing it out. And this sentence is a Turkish sentence. If I just put it in the Google Translate, it says write a letter to my mom telling her how much I love her. So let me run this one. And the model has returned the response and you see that the response is automatically in the Turkish language. So the question was to write a letter to the mom and if I go to Google Translate and put it there, you see, it says, Dear Mother, I'm writing this letter to express a deep love and gratitude in my heart. You're a loving angel who illuminates every moment of my life. You see, the letter looks really good. And if you're a Turkish speaking person, please read through this and let us know. What do you think about this Turkish? Is it a, is it a modern day Turkish? Is it really written well in a letter format? what is the tone and all that stuff because Google Translate really can't tell me that but whatever I can read through it looks quite good to me it covers everything okay so that is cool now I also want to check out if it runs with a pipeline by pipeline I mean in the transformer pipeline so this is not using the pipeline so this is a pipeline stuff so where we are importing the transformer and this is a pipeline which we create now, instead of using Turkish, let me try out another language and we will check out both of these in one go. Okay, so I'm running it on pipeline now, but look at this prompt. This is saying a French speaking tourist, Sophie visits an Indian restaurant in London. She asks the waiter something in French. What are the most popular vegetarian dishes? The waiter familiar with French recommends Palak Paneer and says something in French. It's a very popular choice. So. What, what is happening in this prompt is not only we are testing multilingual, we are testing different cultural nuances. It is sort of an intersection or cross of different cultures here with different cuisine. And then customer service is also being tested on the model. So let's see uh, what model says because we are also asking it to play uh, use the role play that how would you as a waiter respond to Sophie taking into account cultural nuances and language differences. Let's wait for it. Also, let's quickly check what is happening at the GPU level. So I'm just going to run NVIDIA SMI to get a rough idea. So you see it is using just close to 48 GPU of VRAM. So it's a big model, which is quite surprising. The whole model is loaded onto GPU. So it's a heavy model. So if I close it and go down, and it's been running for some time. So model seems, I would say, 
bit slower than the previous IR model I would say in terms of inference anyway so let's wait for it and there you go the response is here and by the way it doesn't work well with pipeline so I have reverted back to the original one where I'm just using the tokenizer and model and generating it and look at the response it is quite grounded in both languages while keeping all the nuances in perspective so there is a response which is quite good and then there is a French response from the waiter which is right and then there is an explanation that what waiter has done it has acknowledged it reassured and then talked about that cuisine and there is a description and then it goes on and on because I have cut down the output tokens to 300 but looks really good let's try out one last one where we will be trying few more uh, languages now I have changed the situation now I am asking it that an Arabic speaking tourist Jamila visits a traditional clothing store in Marrakesh Morocco and she asks the shopkeeper something in Arabic which is what are the most popular traditional dresses the shopkeeper familiar with Arabic recommends a, uh, something kipau and says this it's a very popular choice among our Moroccan and Arab customers Jamila replies something and then it is going on and on let me also put in a question here and the model has come back and if you look at the response looks quite good to me that she asked the shopkeeper this and then model has replied very well in Arabic I have um, also translated it looks really good but if you're an Arabic speaking person please also let us your opinion what do you think about this translation looks good to me so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this new model from aya quite good to see that there are more and more options out there in terms of these multilingual models if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching